Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do functions. What we'd like to concentrate on is what is the difference between functions and relations. Now all of them are graphs. This is a graph, this is a graph, there is a graph. So all of them are drawings that we keep on drawing but how do we know one is a function and one is a relation. Now the key word for function is that you must only have one y. So for every x there must only be one y. Now don't misunderstand by it being the same y. It can be the same y but there must only be one y associated to that x. So if we take this one it's associated to 2. 1 is to 1. We take the 0 it's associated to 1. Again 1 1. If we take the minus 1 it's associated to 0. Again we have 1x and 1y. Now look at this next one. 1 is associated to 2. It is still 1x associated to 1y. If I take minus 1, minus 1 is associated to 2. It is still 1x to 1y. Now it does look like these two x values but when they link up they only link up to one y value. If you take the last one 3 is to 10 again one x value to one y value that would make them functions but now look at the next one it's a 5 and how many y values does it have? It has two y values. So immediately this is not a function anymore. It now becomes a relation. There is a much easier way to decide if a drawing is a function. Now what you call it is the vertical test. When you're doing the vertical test, if the vertical test touches two points, then it is a relation. But if it touches only one point, then it is a function. Now, a vertical test means I am drawing a vertical line. But notice what happens. It is touching two points. That means this one x value has two y values. So it is not a function. If you do it again, so we have one x value because the x value is at that point but it has two y values so it is not a function. Let's look at the next one. Only one point. Again only one point. So this one is a function. If we draw it on this graph, two points. Two points. So it is not a function. one point, one point, one point. So therefore this one is a function. What happens when we have a function? Why would functions be so important? What we do in grade 12 is we do inverse functions. Now inverse functions means x becomes y and y becomes x. But when we do these functions, so what we're doing is we're going to let x become y and y become x. But once we do this to a function, the function changes. And then it can either be a relation or it can be a function. Now how do we decide? If you have a function, now you can decide if it's a function by doing the vertical test. So we've done the vertical test here. Now once you've done the vertical test, you know if it's a function or not. So the first step is to do the vertical test. Right, if it passes, which means now you know, okay, it's a function, then you do a horizontal test. 
Now what the horizontal test does is, it would make it 1 is to 1, which means now when you're cutting, you only touch one point. Or it will be many to one. Remember they both functions because you had to pass the first test to get to the second level. So they both functions. Now it will be many to one which means that it touches two points or more. Now let us go back to our drawing. Right, if we look at the drawing, clearly this one failed and this one failed. So those are not functions. So if you fail the first test, you can't continue to the second test. Now let's go to the second test. Now we're drawing a horizontal line. You have to go through the diagram and look what happens. It is touching two points. If I do another line here, again, I am touching two points which means that even though it's a function, the type of function it is, is many to one. Now let's do a horizontal test here. One point, one point, one point. So this is a function, but it is one is to one. Now, why would this be relevant? When we are doing inverse functions, we are obviously going to take a function and do an inverse. I'm not going to do an inverse of the circle, neither am I going to do an inverse of this diagram. I'm going to start by doing inverse of a function. Once you do the inverse of a function, it can become a relation or it can become a function. Now, one to ones, inverses are functions. But many to one, the inverse is a relation. We will discuss this more when we are doing drawings. Then you would understand it better. The three main ones discussed is a straight line, a parabola and an exponential graph. But in that, we will understand what do we mean. For now, what you need to know is how do I do a vertical test? How do I do a horizontal test? Thank you for watching.